I'm going to be honest with you. There are times when I feel like I'm everywhere except for where I really am in that moment, right? So I could probably be sitting on my phone, looking at completely random apps, scrolling through absolutely nothing. What I'm doing is I'm beautifully using my own device as a crutch to be able to hide some of my insecurities. Where what I should be doing is really talk to the people around me. Um, amongst the many things that people have been writing to me about on the Be Happy project, I think the one thing that comes up more often than ever now is uh, people saying, hey, you know what, I just feel lonely. I feel like I have no friends. Um, I'm sitting at home. I want to have a conversation with someone. I stroll through my phone book and I have nobody to talk to. You would imagine that when you're living in these big cities, these big metropolis, you would have a lot of people. But somehow actually that doesn't happen because the thing about loneliness is loneliness becomes a habit. And you know what? We have to break that cycle. Now think about this, alright? From the second that you walk out of your house, which is your comfort zone, you're probably crossing hundreds of people a day. If you live in India, that probably that number is maybe in the millions, alright? Now here's the thing. When you're trying to sort of categorize all of these people, largely they fit into three of these boxes. Number one is the people you already know. These are people you've spoken to, you've interacted with. These are people that you're very aware of. The second lot of people are the people that you might be aware of, but are people that you've never really interacted with. It's the third group of people which is actually the most ironic. These are people that you're absolutely indifferent to. These are people that you don't know about their existence. These are people that you don't love. You don't hate them. You have no judgment about them. They're probably people that your brain is just not bothered thinking of as people who are of any consequence. You don't think of them as people who might add any value. So you've never really made any sort of an effort to really get to know them. Let's change that. So when you find yourself in a place now where you could be doing your routine, you could be at the gym, you could be traveling, you could be at your office cafeteria, whatever it is, if you just take that moment to just look around, all right, just look around, you can realize that very often you're going to meet eyes with people. Now, when that happens and if it comes natural to you, just smile. Now, not the weird, creepy, I want something from you smile because that might go a whole different way. But if your reason to do that is really just a genuine warmth, if the only thing you really want to achieve through that smile is to say, hey, I see you, I acknowledge you, I know you exist, and this is really me saying I'm not indifferent to you anymore, you've won the battle. Now, I know this sounds awfully simplistic, it also sounds very easy to do, but there's a part of your brain which is going to be telling you, hey, what if they don't react the way I want to? What if they judge me? What if this doesn't go the way I want it to? It's the pessimistic part of your brain, all right? Let that be. You have to fight that part, all right? You're going to be your own superhero. The second part of this is the fact that, yeah, you think your intentions are noble, assuming you really want to make a conversation with people just because you want to make conversation with people. You think that people are going to react exactly the way that you want them to. That may not always be the case. Understand that the evolutionary process has brought our brain to think of just fight or flight. Those are the two big responses that human beings actually have, which is all right. The third response of, yeah, there's a stranger, let's go have a cup of tea. We haven't really evolved to that yet, all right? Your task is to get that idea inserted into somebody's brain. It's incredible, all right? When the other person realizes that you're not a threat, in no way are you infiltrating their space, it's not something that you really want from them, and this really is going to come from a genuine want of yours to just want to interact, you're going to see that the interaction level of you and multiple people in the periphery of your area becomes huge. You're going to start creating this ecosystem for yourself, which is just pure happiness. You know, in a, in a few days or a few weeks of practicing this, actually you'll realize that when you just walk into your own familiar spaces, you, even your own apartment building, you'll realize you probably know more neighbors, you probably know your security guard so much better than you did already. There's something wonderful about the brain, all right? It reacts beautifully to a familiar environment. It feels safe, it feels nourished, it feels loved, it feels cherished. And you're going to realize that happiness will come in a beautiful way when you surround yourself with a lot of people. I think the one thing we've forgotten is the fact that we need people. I think the digital age has made us so like uh, oblivious to actual human beings that we think that social media is going to be it. While this seems like a beautiful form of communication, actually this would be so much better if you and me met, right? Now, that's what you need to keep in mind. Don't replace people with technology and I think that's one thing I really believe and that's ironic considering I do most of my talking like this but I think at some level I'm so close to people, I'm a cuddler and I love that. I never feel alone because I always have somebody around the corner who's always there to make me feel loved but I've created that ecosystem for myself, alright? I always say this, I don't have much immediate family, my dad and me live separately. Um, from the front of it, it could probably look like I'm actually absolutely alone but I never feel that because I have like 13 or 14 best friends because I really work towards it every single day. There are days when I just feel like, hey, I'm not feeling loved. I will go out and make sure that I have enough people who will shower me with so much love. I will orchestrate that into my life, all right? It is a fight that you have to fight every single day. The best part is, when you fight that battle well, you come out winning, all right? 
try this tell me if this works for you the be happy project is an absolute passion project for me if you think there's anyone who's going to benefit from watching these videos please share this with them uh, come on in and join the be happy project as a movement and we'll do some incredible things together you know what the agenda is very simple happiness and if we can do that together that is incredible all right stay happy and smile at strangers in a good way not in a creepy way all right bye